Let's walk through the process of adapting a standard design into a bioplayable design. You see, I've picked up the example that BioExplorer offers of their Pac Man example. It already has a Flash player. And I'm going to go ahead and load the BioPlay Pac Man. And let's just give it a try straight ahead. Pressing play. This is alpha training, but it could be any kind of training. Now I turn it on, and you see that the biomarker was only showing in one, and it turned off. So it's basically broken, uh, or not yet made. How do you make one? It's really, really, really easy. Go to add an object from your design menu, and we're going to add three basic objects. There's an averager, which is optional. There's a first expression evaluator. And there's a second expression evaluator and a flash player. Here it's already added. But if you were doing a different design, you would add a flash player as well. Let's do, well, in one is fed by the pass fail. That's pretty common. Now, in two, we're going to make it a little harder than the standard pass fail. We're putting the signal in and we're going to make it and the sig so that the signal has to be somewhat higher than just the threshold. The threshold on your threshold object is low, is the low output there. So what I'm writing in here is if then statement. If in one, which is the signal, is greater than or equal to in two, which is the threshold, plus 10 microvolts in this case, then one. If not, then zero. What am I saying here in language terms? If the signal is greater than or equal to the threshold plus 10 microvolts, then BIO2 is on. And that way we've created a slightly more challenging situation for him to get his bonus points from. Now you could do it from a second threshold object. You could do it from an AND object. You can do it from really anything you want. Feeding into with a pass-fail condition, you've got it. Third variable in all bioplay designs is a variable. It's not a pass fail, it's a variable. It goes from 1 through 0 through 1. I use the ratio object and there's two things I have to do to normalize it. First of all, I have to click on the reverse box at the very bottom. And then in this expression value, I have to normalize it because in BioExplorer, when it's down training, if you're not increasing, then it goes from 0 to 1. But if it's increasing, it goes from 1 to 2. So what I'm basically doing is I'm just saying in 1, minus 1. right? So I make take that down to 0 level. And then ratio minus 1 when you're increased training. And you can just put the ratio. If you were to leave this expression evaluator, you would just say in 1. And it would be done. You see the reverse is checked. OK, I've normalized in the threshold, and I've normalized in this expression evaluator. This optional averager I put in in all of our it all is design packs so that we can smooth the feedback output want to see here we go playing let's play again the biomarker i'm going to get this drag this over here get this out of the way you see they're all working now i've got in one and two popping in in occasional situations and my in three is working nicely whoa almost got eaten there by the ghost but that's what the fun is all about, right? We're bio-playing, after all. So um, if all of this is complicated or you just want the full gamut of options that uh, It All Is Design Packs offers, then you can always visit itallis.com slash shop. Pick up the design pack that trains the state that you want and also pick up new bioplay games we're hoping to be adding about 10 a month if all goes well and i greatly empower employ and enjoy myself and share that with you